Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1141. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file here that says Start, and the Axis file that says Excel Magic Trick 141 Table Start, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we just want to do a quick video on how to put data in Excel and have it automatically show up in a table over in Access. So here in Access, we want to go get the data over in Excel and have it linked. So whenever we change it over in Excel right here, it'll show up in Access. All right, so here's a little table. We have field names at the top. It's just a simple example to show you how to get a table from a link table from Excel into Access. Now I'm going to name this sheet something smart like customers. Enter. And I'm going to create a table over here so it'll be dynamic as we expand here. I'm going to use the keyboard Control T. But make sure your cursor is somewhere in one cell in the table. Control T. Wow, that, di that dialog showed way up over here. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I want to name this. Now I could go to Design and up here and click, or I can use the keyboard Alt-J-T-A. If you do a lot of Excel tables, that's a good one, because it immediately jumps up to Properties, Table Name. And I'm going to uh, call this Customers. Enter. All right, now I'm going to close this file, Control-S to save it. And uh, we'll come back later and add records and see if it works. So I'm going to close over in Excel. Now we're going to come to External Data tab. Oh, look at that import and link. It's that easy. Excel, boop, inside of Access. All right, so I have to browse for the location. So here I found my location. I'm going to double click. Down here, I want to link to data source and create a linked table over in Access. Click OK. And it asks us worksheets. And yes, notice we named our sheet. That was smart. And we could have done it with Sheet 1, but that's not an instructive name. So I got that. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to tell it in the next step next that we have our first row has column headers or field names. Next, we can use the same name over in Access for our link table and finish. I'm going to click OK. And there it is. Notice it has a little icon with an arrow saying it's linked over to Excel. So if I double click, I can see my table. And I can do whatever I want here. I could use uh, relationships to uh, related to another table if I wanted. I'm going to double click. That's just the other table here. Now I'm going to close this Access. And now let's go over to the Start. I'm going to open it up. Now let's go over to the Start file and open it up. All right, so we're over here in Excel. I'm going to click in the last cell and hit Tab. And here's Mo, Tab, Mo at gmail.com. Now when I hit Tab, it'll add a new record. Hey, that one's linked. That one's not. That's OK over here. We're just keeping it. We're not using those links, so that'll be fine. Jen is the next person. Jen at yahoo.com, Control Enter. So all I've done is added two new records, Control S, Alt F4 to close it. Now let's go and open up our link table over in Access. Double click. Double click on our linked Excel table. And you've got to be kidding me. Look at that. Oops. It's got our new records. So that's how to, inside of Access, link externally to an Excel workbook and have everything update here in Access. All right, we'll see you next video.